On Monday, December 9, 2019, an explosive eruption rocked Fakari, a small volcanic island located east of New Zealand's North Island. Violent blasts rang out. Thick ash plumes rose into the sky and showered the earth with hot debris. The volcano on Fakari, or White Island, is probably New Zealand's most active volcano. And like most of New Zealand's dramatic landscapes, the operating force on White Island is tectonic. During the early 20th century, geologists began to realise that the Earth's outer crust is not one solid piece. Instead, it is made up of broken pieces, much like the shell of a broken egg. These pieces, otherwise known as tectonic plates, are part of Earth's crust. These plates rest on magma, hot melted rock material that forms the planet's top mantle layer. The mantle makes up much of the Earth's interior and surrounds its blazing core. Developed between the 1950s and the 1970s, plate tectonics is the modern version of continental drift, a theory which was first proposed by scientist Alfred Wagner in 1912. Back then, Wagner didn't have an explanation for how continents could move around the planet, but researchers do now. The driving force behind plate tectonics is the convection current circulating in the mantle layer. Hot material near the core rises and colder mantle rock sinks. This is similar to a boiling pot of soup. The movement of these plates produces three types of boundaries. The first is the convergent boundary where two continental plates move towards each other. Sometimes, this collision causes one plate to go under the other, as an oceanic plate would when it meets a continental plate. This is called subduction. The collision of two plates can make mountains and produce volcanoes. The second type of boundary is the divergent boundary where two plates move apart. Here, magma from the mantle rises, cools and forms new land. The third type of boundary is the transform boundary where neighbouring plates slip and slide against each other and when it happens, we experience earthquakes. Tectonic plates may only move at a speed of a few centimetres per year but over millions of years, these ongoing shuffles can power the reconfiguration of continents and the reshaping of our planet.